Yeah, welcome back to our weekly crypto chart analysis session where we look at the things that are happening in the crypto market over the week and we look for trading opportunities for the week ahead. So this is we start from BTC as usual. This is a chart of BTC on the four hour time frame. Let's let's look at what we have on the daily. So the previous, the two, three, four days, previous days have been, have not been really bullish, but we have had a rejection, a rejection here, which is telling us BTC is likely going to pump for during this week. And also looking at the market, we can just connect a trend line from this place to this place so this will be an area of an area of trend line support which means that the market might just come down and bounce off this trend line and, and start a bull move so a bullish move so my perspective or my bias on bitcoin for this week is still bullish until probably we come down to this place and break this area of value around here and clear all this fair value gap so my perspective on bitcoin is a scenario where bitcoin will come back to this trend line sorry so if bitcoin if bitcoin comes if bitcoin comes to this trend line and give us a massive bullish move i will be targeting 28653 or maybe a scenario where bitcoin will come back to this place which is 25.9 somewhere around this area of liquidity and it's going to give us a massive bullish move but then overall my bias on btc will be long until maybe we have a break of this trend line and a retest and will be shorting or a scenario where the market sorry this seems to be a network problem, where the market comes back to this area of value and break it but overall my bias on bitcoin is still bullish so i'll be scaling down to the four hour and let's see let's see what's what has been happening on the four hour let's see what has been happening on the four hour so on the four hour this this massive uh, rejection candle will have given us a good sign to go long as the market has moved already but then in a case where the market comes back to this area of value we can just join the buy so it's, it's pretty much the same thing if the market comes back here we just join the buy and target this place even though that will not be uh that will not be the that will just be like a final target so setting our targets would be would look like this on the one hour i like to set my entries and targets using the one hour so that I'll be able to get some minor areas of value. I'll get some minor areas of value and so that I can use them as my take profit one, two, three, four, as the case may be, and also get the most reasonable stop loss for the trade. So looking at this on the one hour, looking at this on the one hour, just in case we have a scenario where the market comes back then and give us an entry then my target would be around here somewhere around here and then also here and this green line will be my final target for btc long if i could get a reasonable entry for that during the week or any time from now so that will be that on Bitcoin. So let's scale to, let's look at Ethereum. Let's look at Ethereum and see. So this is a chart of Ethereum on the daily time frame. And from what we have last week, we, we were bullish on Ethereum since last week. And we drew a trend line, which is going to be like a trend line support which would be trading from an area where we'll be trading from and since then the market has been bullish so what i'll be looking for on ethereum is a scenario where 
let me get rid of of uh, all this drawing so ethereum is currently at the resistance just as you can see here so i'll be looking at two scenarios here the first scenario is a rejection if you have a rejection on ethereum then we might collapse to the downside from this place i will be shorting the market targeting 1709 i can i can adjust this slightly yeah we're targeting somewhere around here for ethereum short if we can get a massive rejection candle around this place but another scenario is a buy which means if the market break this resistance and stay above it you can just look for a bullish sign let's say we have something like this then a retest so you can just look for a bullish sign and long the market the market target targeting the high so the either of those two things it is either of those two things but then if we have uh, a scenario where we get a rejection here we might just come down here also break this place and come down to this side so my trade on ethereum my bias on ethereum is two-sided it's not just one-sided like that of btc we might just get rejection at that resistance and collapse to the downside and sorry my network is a little bit bad today so we might just get rejection and collapse to the downside or we break the resistance and move to the upside so let's just look at uh let's look at ADA two, and that will be all for this week so this is ADA on a daily time frame at a at a very important support level this is somewhere this is a support okay we already have a running trade on ADA which i think this this trade hit our stop loss even though it is actually not a trade or a projection so now looking at other it's it's either of two things if you break out of this area of value area of resistance we might be because our long term projection on, on this coin is long and this is our target one two three four so if you break out of this resistance and we retest we might just have a long direct and if you come back to this area of value then you'll be having something like a triple bottom triple bottom around here so let's say we come back here if we come back here sorry from this place to this place we will have a triple bottom and we'll be longing the market back from this place so my overall trade on uh, on matic is long yeah i'm bullish on matic we just need to get a reasonable entry for it so this will be my scenarios for trading for this week i won't be analyzing a lot because the network is kind of bad and i don't want to take a lot of trades this week just a few quality one so if you enjoyed this video hit the like hit the like button subscribe to my channel and i will see you next week